Hi YouTube, hi Facebook. It's Mike the Amsoil dealer and today we're going to be doing a an engine flush and an engine oil change on this um, 2008 Toyota Tundra and it does have the 5.7 liter V8 and what we're going to be using is the Amsoil engine flush and that's going to help to clean out the deposits that could be in there. Um, we don't know a ton on the service history, so this just helps you to start with a clean engine. It helps the rings to be clean and free. Um, and what we're gonna be installing, we've got the Amsoil, hey Jesse, the Amsoil Signature Series 0W20. And this is 100% synthetic. It's a chemical-based synthetic, not so much like you're off the shelf. Um, synthetics in the store. This is PAO and ester based. And then we have the Amsoil um, EA oil filter. And it is a cartridge style. But as you can see, that's not like many cartridge oil filters you see. Even the Toyota filter doesn't have these metal end caps. And uh, so we'll get to see all that go in. Um, we're going to start by adding the engine flush and then we'll idle the engine for 10 to 15 minutes. That'll get everything cleaned out, ready for the Amsoil. Let's see here. All right. And again, this isn't necessary. You can switch right over to Amsoil, but this just it just helps your engine start clean. And don't get any ideas about putting this in and then driving the vehicle, because this does, um, you know, obviously it thins out the oil, so you don't want to be running the engine under any kind of load. You can run it at fast idle, but, um, that's about about it. Mike, did you want to go ahead and start her up? We can let it idle 10 to 15 minutes. Ooh, hear that V8 power. All right. So we'll check back in with you after the flush is done and we're ready to drain everything out. Thanks a lot. We let this thing idle for 15 minutes. So that has um, loosened, you know, the varnish and deposits. We're gonna go ahead and drain the oil. Um, but I wanted to show you um, something I picked up on Amazon. Now my friend at church, uh, also named Mike, he loaned me his filter wrenches, which is very nice. Um, I had already gone ahead and ordered this. This came yesterday. This is by Motivex Tools. And the reason I got this, it's forged aluminum. Let's take it out and look at it. So a lot of the ones I looked at were like stamped steel and just there wasn't much to them. This one's forged aluminum and it's obviously thicker. Um, 3 8 drive right here, which the stamped steel ones have as well. But this also has this 27 millimeter. You can use a 27 millimeter socket or a one and one sixteenths. And for those times where somebody has over tightened it severely, this is gonna come in really handy, especially if you have to use a breaker bar, you wanna use this rather than this. The internal uh, 3 8 drive part is better suited for a torque wrench for reinstallation. You can torque it to the proper spec. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get that rolling. Thank you. All right, so we're under the vehicle. We've got our 14 millimeter socket. We'll go ahead and drain this. So we think, or we know the dealer did this uh, last, right, Mike? You said? Yes. Okay. In fact, I've had the dealer do it for the last, every time I've owned the vehicle, and I've had it for about two and a half years. So they've done it, you know, probably half a dozen times easy. Okay. Cool. 
Oh, good. Well, that wasn't over tightened, so that's that's good. I did read a lot of warnings online about the dealers over tightening the filters, but I'm sure that's um, that's just going to depend who you get. Would you be able to grab me a paper towel? Sorry, I didn't have all this stuff ready. I don't have my gloves either. Normally I have um, the oh, nitrile you know gloves. I have, some, uh, I have some rubber gloves. In oh, the you truck. do? Would you like some? Yeah, I use them for grounding. Are they just like the disposable type? Yeah. Sure. That'd be great. Thanks, Brittany. So he's going to get me some gloves all right thank you you're welcome yeah use them for grouting because that grout just dries your hands out so bad i hear you yeah so me and mike were just talking about gloves and he just gave me these uh are these latex you think i believe so yes so Back in the day, I never would wear gloves because I always felt like I couldn't get a feel for the work. But once I got used to these, I basically only wear them if I'm getting my hands, you know, soaked in automotive fluids and I know it's not good for you. So I, I try to wear them when I think of it that way. All right. Yes, yeah, so we're draining down. And we're gonna let this drain as well as we can. And we'll come back in a little bit with the filter. Thank you. All right, guys, we're back. So the oil has been draining and it's still dripping. So I'm just gonna let it continue to drip while I try to address this filter. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, so basically you take out this plug here and we got a 3 8 ratchet just the drive part on it and so hopefully it's not too tight Ooh. you take this part out first and then there it goes and then it's like a pre-drain it allows you to drain the oil without making a mess because there's probably a decent amount in this uh, so we take out the plug there's a little bit but that's, um, I have a little thing that comes with the AMSOIL filter. And so this AMSOIL filter does contain this little plastic piece here. And I think this comes with most of these cartridge filters, but uh, the idea is you screw it in. Let's see. If I can thread it. There it goes. So you thread it, there it goes. Woo! That was easy. I didn't even get it fully threaded in. There we go. My goodness. Yeah, could you imagine taking this oil filter housing off if it was full? You would probably take a bath. So this is a great convenience. Now, there's no O-ring on this, so it must still be... Oh, I see it. It's up in there. So that'll be something we change. And then the filter and these other O-rings. So after this drains, I'm going to get my... My Motivex uh, filter wrench ready. And from what it says, this fits everything from the two liter Toyota, Lexus, Scion up to the 5.7 Tundra. Um, they said the only thing it doesn't fit is the 1.8 liter Toyota. So, um, and it doesn't fit the regular spin on filters. But as you can see, it's got three little notches on that side and one on this side, so it's only going to fit one way. 
Where is my ratchet? You see my ratchet? Oh, here it is. Above my head. I'm just surprised how much oil is draining out of this filter housing. I've never done one of these before, so... So we are learning together. All right, I think we're done with that. This Motivex wrench comes with a 27 millimeter, if you can see. It has the 3 8 drive, but it all. All right, we're gonna try this again with a little more power. This breaker bar. Ah, come on. So the next step, if this doesn't work, is a pipe on the end. All right, so we did crack this thing loose. Um, it finally did decide to move. So we're just easing it, easing it around. There is a little clip, so, but it's not really, it's kind of, it looks like some type of retainer, but it's, it is just kind of, easing on past it. And having never done one of these before, I don't know how many turns it takes to remove, but it is, it is coming out. So I've loosened this um, with my wrench and now we're about to take it out. It feels like it anyway. Um, there might be a little more oil. Yep, actually I see it. Um, I'm sure if we hadn't have been able to drain it before though, it would have been way worse. But having never done one of these, I don't know exactly what to expect. So I'm just kind of maintaining pressure as I unscrew. Okay, I think it's, I think it's free. So yeah, I'm gonna pull it down slowly. Here it comes. All right, there it comes. So we did take it out. And so as you can see, here's the filter. Um, Mike has been getting it done exclusively at the dealer. So I mean, here's, here's what a Toyota filter looks like. And I'm sure it's fine. Um, it's not falling apart or anything. So it's surely, you know, it's not defective by any means. But when you look at uh, take a look at the Amazon filter with the metal metal base plates and it just looks like it's it's built a little bit stronger and also the filter media on this is 98.7 percent efficient at 20 microns so that is an excellent filtration what we're going to do is clean out um, the cap here clean out where it came out of and then reinstall so we're back I got New O-ring there, new O-ring here, and we're gonna put uh, put this. This is the drain cap. Uh, it allows you to drain the filter housing, which is a nice feature because all that oil. And I'll tighten this with the wrench after we reinstall the cap itself. And then we have our Amsoil filter here, the EA 15K04, and. Um, I don't think there's a top or bottom. Um, it just goes. Here we are adding the Amsoil Signature Series 0W20, and it's going to take, I think it's eight quarts. We'll, we'll stop at seven and see where we're at. But oops. I did drop a little bit. Of course, it's probably because I, I said something about it before. Like I was telling Mike, my, my dad almost never used a funnel, so 
I don't know why I just got used to doing that, doing it that way. And most of the time I do okay. But all right, we'll come back in a minute. Number one synthetic.com. Just type it in, guys. It doesn't always come up on the searches, but here it is. Order through this website, I get credit. Um, lots of information here. Um, lots of different ways to look up your products. Um, sign up as a preferred customer to save money. Um, so yeah, it'll send you through to amsoil.com, but I get the credit.